The Whitmer family were among the earliest supporters of Joseph Smith. Five of the Whitmer men are counted among the formal Book of Mormon witnesses. Of this important family, David Whitmer was chosen to serve as one of the three witnesses of the Book of Mormon. He later gathered to Ohio and then became the leader of the church in Missouri. Given all that he did for the church, why was David Whitmer excommunicated? David Whitmer was removed from the church for several reasons. For one, he had voluntarily withdrawn. In addition, in early 1837, a meeting was held with the aim to remove Joseph Smith as church president and replace him with David Whitmer, and later he had presumptuously signed his name as president of the Church of Christ, a status he had not been granted. He also went on to deny the authority of the High Council. Moreover, he offered no explanations for his conduct, refuted none of the allegations against him, made no expressions of remorse or acceptance of responsibility, and gave no signs of repentance. David was the only one of the three witnesses who never returned to the church. Nevertheless, to the end of his life, he retained a firm conviction of the truth of the Book of Mormon. Near the end of his life, he publicly declared, I have never at any time denied that testimony of the Book of Mormon, or any part thereof, which has so long since been published with that book, as one of the three witnesses. Those who know me best well know that I have always adhered to that testimony, and that no man may be misled or doubt my present views in regard to the same. I do again affirm the truth of all my statements, as then made and published. On David's headstone in Richmond, Missouri, chiseled in stone, are the words, The record of the Jew and the record of the Nephites are one. Truth is eternal. And now you know why.